You see, that's what we call the first year stall. Spaghetti noob is back! Try to be nice. Forget you're in like fourth gear. And you stall out because you got a carbureted engine. But see, that's okay because you learn. As the first video back into this season, it was Bring Your Kid to Work Day. And I asked one of the kids what my uh, topic should be and they said nothing so my topic is going to be nothing so what does that even mean I like it so I wanted to reflect on my previous videos and kind of go into what to expect going into to this riding season so I've heard um, a lot of feedback um, from a lot of my followers and they think my intro was too long and some people don't even know what it is they're like yeah so I checked out your channel and I watched the I watched the first few seconds and then I went to the next video you know because they couldn't continue watching because their attention span wasn't long enough to keep going and they're like I saw the second video and it was the same as the first video and then my response was like haven't you ever watched TV there's almost always an introduction and it's almost always the same you know, give or take some of the newer shows like Game of Thrones that has, you know, the intro sequence changes as the story develops. So, but I did hear feedback and I will take that feedback to kind of make my intro shorter, which hopefully I will do in this video, depending on time constraints. Um, aside from that, I think, I think my, uh, my product is kind of a niche product. It's not it's not your everyday clickbait, you know, YouTube video. I'm not going to give you a crazy title that doesn't happen in the video or happens at the very end. Cuz uh, that's not authentic and that's not real. That's not me. So So my videos tend to be a little longer with less actual edits it's not uh it's not a meme video you know like what's predominantly out on youtube right now <coughs> excuse me uh, i mean i might put some stuff in like what i'm talking about uh, you know occasionally you'll see my plate of spaghetti when i do something nooptacular but um, that's not what I'm going for. You know, just kind of looking back in, at my other videos and kind of watching them over and listening to them. I feel that as a brand, Spaghetti Noob is more of a... I mean, it's a vlog, of course. But it's more of a podcast in a sense where, you know, I'm talking and I'm talking to myself mainly and then you guys. Um... You know, I'm interviewing myself and having these conversations. Um, it's not a watch what I'm doing crazy, but it's more of the experience as while, while this dialogue is occurring, that there's these crazy things that happen because this is everyday life. <laughs> like, like me stalling out, you know? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I've been writing for, I don't know, like seven years or maybe longer. I don't even know. And uh, I stalled, yeah, whatever, you know. I don't got an EFI. Um, 
I'm carbureted, but that's okay. You know, that's the quirks of my baby. So I kind of want to get in front of this guy, but I don't. Is anyone in front of him? No. He's driving. He's driving slow. He's driving really slow. So these are some of the things. See, as we're having this dialogue about this topic about nothing, really, you get to see what it's like as well to ride every day. Or almost every day. I mean, I wish I can ride every day. But um, we have this thing called weather and uh, precipitation. Even though it was raining this morning, um, I still I still drove today, or rode today, should I say. And um, it was a bit brisk. And I got a little bit wet. <coughs> Excuse me. And like this right here, like that guy, he was going slow, took a long time to change lanes. That other guy was being impatient because he wanted to skip this long line waiting for the light. So he was going and, you know, that's what you get driving crazy people. And hopefully I don't have any close calls. Um, I mean, if I ever do, I wish to get them on video in case anything were to occur. You know, I have I have that as backup. Um, or maybe even for a learning opportunity. Maybe it was my fault and I made a mistake. Um, what could I have done differently? Like me stalling out there, although I knew exactly what I did wrong there. Um, so I've, I've already learned from that mistake. Uh, but there's some of the things you'll get into the habit of, um, you know, when you have an... Um, say um a lot. I'm going to try to cut that out too. I did, I did get a lot of feedback of saying um and like, so I will try to cut that out. Also, but. So I will try to stop saying I'm like or but. I'll do my best. Or I'll, I'll try really hard to not say that and transition properly. But one of the things that you get when you haven't ridden in six, seven months. It's, it, was, it was pretty bad because last year I stopped pretty much in September. Because um, it rained. Dang it, I said um again. Because it rained all of September. And then we got a really cold October, November, December. Even though I did change my oil, I believe on December 7th, uh, and it was really cold. Um, dang it, I keep doing it. Anyway, it's some of the things you forget after, you know, riding, not or not riding for that long. And then you got to redevelop that skill. Sometimes it's a confidence issue, which I usually build up really quickly when you're riding, because you know, you know how to lean, how to turn. Um... Dang it. I'm not good at this. But one of the things that I practiced... Um, man, this is difficult. One of the things that I practiced was going through a cul-de-sac a few times. And if you don't know what a cul-de-sac is, that's the... Uh, that's a street with a dead end, but it's a circle so you can turn around. And in that cul-de-sac, I was just taking, you know, doing some slightly aggressive leans. I wasn't going fast at all. I mean, 25 for the residential street or whatever. Probably a little slower to start off, you know, until I built my confidence. I did that, I think, twice. Um, one one way, then one the opposite direction. Uh, just, to, just to give a feel of leaning again. And then driving through subdivisions is, is a good good practice, um, even for people who've uh, driven for years, just as the first ride back, because you it helps you, it forces you to pay attention and focus, um, especially in this early spring season, people are finally out, they're cutting their grass again, they're edging, and you can see everyone in the street, people are taking out garbage, there's kids playing again, uh, people on bikes, uh, skateboards, you know, all the outdoor toys are coming out. So it's, it's really good to see that level of activity again, and you have to pay attention to it so you don't hit, you know, any of these children or, or, or nothing happens. So you have to just ride safe and focus. That's also one of the reasons why I don't listen to music when I drive or, or the radio, whatever the radio is. But you have that sense of focus around you because when I ride, I can hear everything. You can pay attention to certain things. Like how many cars have the engine shut off on stoplights when they break. It's so many. When you're in a car, you don't hear it. Or you might hear it, but it's just distributed outside noise. You don't realize what it is. 
but on a bike you can hear it clearly so many cars nowadays have that feature and you know it's supposed to save on gas and emissions this guy thinks he's cool with the Honda Civic Type R or whatever but that's one of the things that you have to you have to do um, and you pay attention to and then once you get that you get your confidence back Does this guy want to get in front of me no he doesn't oh and it's starting to rain again um, but that's mainly what I wanted to talk about today it was a topic of nothing in a sense that you know I don't want to just talk about nothing as in every other moto vlog channel out there I don't want to be that oh I watched your one video it went viral and you're gone um, if you want if you want some of that you can go somewhere else I mean I, I do have some videos that have you know thousands of hits um, none of them <laughs> excuse me none of them really viral but um, you know it's it's good steady um, I like my content I enjoy my content sometimes I listen back and I was like oh man that was funny or or I critique myself you know you are you are your you are your best critic you should know how you're doing and, and how you perform so that is mainly what I want to talk about the topic of nothing because probably a little bit more serious um, not as silly as the other videos and we're probably gonna try and get in front of these guys here because this lane ends that you see I probably should have been paying a little bit more attention um, but I haven't came down this way in a long time and, and I also will try to make shorter videos um, I don't I don't like editing a lot of videos um, I know a lot of people especially once they get big they have editors and they have a whole team and the staff uh, but I just have a you know a small crew and I also don't believe in editing videos because when you edit videos you fill it with junk and I don't want to fill it with junk um, usually what I do when I do edit my videos is I cut out um, a lot of the pauses where I'm just driving and nothing interesting happens so that way it just goes straight to the dialogue so that's some of the things that I want to do for the channel um, for the content bring you guys better content more content so yeah, that's my uh, that's my topic of nothing. Thanks, thanks, kid. Um, maybe another video we'll talk about um, the actual events of uh, bringing your kids to work day. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and have.